Well, welcome back, gang. Thanks an awful lot for hanging in there with us. You are watching BNN TV's It's All About Arts. My name is Glenn Williams, and uh, Suzanne Schultz is here also in the studio. That was a really nice interview with... I mean, Judith has a lot of really cool things that she's doing, and I really enjoyed that. Don't forget, we are coming to you live. If you want to join us, you can give us a call at 617-708-3290. And right now, it's my great pleasure and honor to introduce you to Dimitris Vallone. How did I do? You did great. Thank, Thank you, you Dimitris. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Great. Thanks an awful lot for coming in. Absolutely. Um, you are an abstract painter. Abstract Let me painter. ask this right off the bat. Have you always been a painter? or Has there been other kinds of art that you, you do as well? No, I've always pretty much done the, the abstract since mm -hmm. I started. It's been about 10 years that I've been doing it. Okay, great. Was there any kind of reason why you decided to pick up painting? I mean... No, I, I did so many different things through school from, I almost had my degree in astrophysics and then yeah. switched at the end and, and discovered art, and my father was, and it just oh, kind of, he was an artist, an artist oh, as well, that's where it came. so it kind of naturally came yeah. and went to, to yeah. that, and he was also very big into the abstract. Really? Um, I love, I love a asking ab abstract painters, painters this question, what is it about abstract painting that you love? What is it that draws you to it? You know, I think the biggest thing that draws me to it is the fact that if I wanted to take, if, if I wanted to do something realistic, I go take a photograph of it, or I would do. Uh, I, I love to do uh, watercolors. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah. when it comes to painting, to me, it's it's complicated or more complicated to try to put together colors in something that fits mm -hmm. into a, I guess a, a picture plane right. that's not what you would see out in nature. Now, one of the things I asked Judith is, is is it a is it a journey for you, or, oh. or can you kind of say, okay, I'm gonna. I'm going to drop this red and, and blue here, and then I'm going to let the purple come. Or is it something that's just, when you get to the end, you go, I don't know how I got here, but here I am? Both. Yeah. Both. Yeah. Sometimes it starts off with an idea or a dream mm -hmm. or a color palette, and right. then it ends up where it ends up. That's great. Yeah. You know, my definition of, of, an, of abstract art is, is, and I tell my students this, is, I said it doesn't have a theme, or do, it really doesn't have, have a subject, but it makes you feel something. Yeah, absolutely. You know, when, 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 when you get the feeling, is that when you, you kind of, when, when, when the inside of you goes, ah, there it is. It does. Sometimes it's mm -hmm. the opposite. Sometimes I'm working on a piece and it kills me. Yeah. You know, and you, you want to destroy it or put it away, and other times it just starts to flow. Mm. Sometimes you put it away, you come back to it, and there it is again. Mm -hmm. So, well, kind of like that. Well, knowing that, knowing that the, the painting can also bring that kind of an emotion out, out of you as well. Mm. I mean, maybe, you know, the people that are, that are, enjoying your work doesn't you know will feel that too that's what you the struggle for. you want to feel the struggle absolutely um do you have a dedicated space yes that's good that's always good yeah it, it and, helps. And, and, and and do you set the atmosphere as well i mean absolutely. there's a little slip knot on the radio for you i gave her the Bee Gees. i don't know why i said the Bee Gees for you and you're getting slip knot i will do slip knot. <laughs> i will do whatever it is you know funnily enough it's uh if that's a, a word in its own right uh I like a lot of electronic music too, and I live in a great place where my neighbors know when I'm painting, wow, and I have it very great. loud, and then they'll always knock on the door because they know I'm painting at that point in time. Oh, that's good. But they don't complain, so that's good. What part of the, what part of the country are you in? Um, I'm over in JP. You're over in JP? Right here in JP? Right do, here you in get, JP. do you ever get involved in open studios? I do open studios every year. I'm going to miss it this year. Oh, no. Yeah. Is that because you're doing Rosendale Open Studios? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, we have too many other things coming up with Suzanne, and uh, I grabbed the show at the James Gate, the restaurant. Nice. Uh, that's not so bad. That's, that's, that's nice. Fun little thing, and it goes right through uh, the open studio. That's, well, you know, you can't do it all, and you've yeah. picked, you've, I think you've made a good choice with Suzanne. I mean, she, uh, the energy and, and the commitment there is going to be. You're going to. Yeah, she's been great there. so far. That's great. That's yeah. great. What, well, how did you discover her? I actually, took a class, or not took a class. She had a class on how to get your art out there, yeah, 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 market yeah. it differently, and yeah. I really like the ideas she brought up, and and it just kind of made sense to right, me, right. and contacted her, and. It started from there. Well, that's great. You've yeah. bought, you've brought in a couple of great pieces for Thank us you. to look Thank at. You. Um, well, talk us through. It's going to be on the screen there in a second, and uh, we're going to take a look at this. This is, um, I'm not even sure what this is called, but here, here is the piece here. Maybe we can get this table yeah. out of the way. There we go. Yeah, uh, I don't really know much what to say about it. It's uh, it's one of the larger pieces because I paint either four by threes, which this one is, and sometimes I'll paint smaller as well. Uh, a new piece. Uh, just this is a newer piece. Yeah, that one just finished up about two weeks ago. It's fabulous. 
I love, and Judith noticed it too, the big swatch right here. Um, was there a big palette knife involved in that? Some, uh, they, they generally all start off with the brush and some sort, just to get some type of idea behind it. And then the rest does deal either with palette knife or wood. Uh, sometimes more brush, washes, very thick paint. Yeah. Um, Did you work on this in, in landscape or in portrait like it is now? As it is now. As it is now, okay. But oftentimes it'll kind of dictate which way it goes when you're working on it. Right. It, do, you, do you use anything for, for texture? Sand? I use a lot of sand. Yeah, you were telling me about it. I think you that's know, fascinating. Yeah, and uh, it's, um, it's one of the, the uh, art sand. I mean, I'm not going down to Wallace and Beach and scooping up any bugs and stuff, but... <laughs> Which my, why, now that I think about it, why not? Why, some bacteria why in not? There. A little bacteria. Yeah, bacteria, yeah. But, uh, but it, it has such texture to it. There's so many things going on in there. It's just thick paint. Yeah, that's real. Yeah. And, and so, no, I don't use any sand or any other material to get it to go. And uh, they're, they're just so much better to see in person. Every mm. time I try to photograph them, you, you just oh, no. lose. Oh, that's why I'm so glad that you both have your pieces in here. Um, the base color, do you let the base color sit and let that dry for a while and, and, and then come back with, with whatever you're going to be, you know, kind of... Depends. Yeah. Sometimes I'll go right, right to it right and tag to it. it. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes I can get them done in a week or two, and sometimes they've taken up to two years. <laughs> so it just depends on the piece itself. And oftentimes, like I said, it'll wow. dictate what, what it does uh, and where it wants to go. Are there those hour and a halfs, too? I've never done one that quickly. Really? Since, no. Well, do you always work in this size? No, I also work in smaller pieces, uh -huh. uh, which are framed, and I also work on glass. I paint on oh, the glass, which is always a fun thing. Which yeah. side? You don't know. I paint on, but then you look at the yeah. other side. It takes away all the texture. Yes, it which does. is really fascinating. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, there's another piece. We're going to take a look at the at the next piece. I, you know, they're going to move that out of the way while they're doing while they're doing that. Um, what are some of the tools that you use? I mean, I mean, you use the brushes and you're using the knives and stuff like that. Can we get your hands right in there? Sometimes I have. Yeah. Sometimes I'll take the fingers, or just the whole hand, and, and just sometimes when you're frustrated, you just do it no, and something yeah. comes out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a rarity, though. That, yeah, that's, that, that's an, a great accident. Sometime, it is a great accident. Sometimes right. when, when we're looking for those kind of things to happen. Uh, it, it's funny because um, uh, being an abstract artist, I'm quick. I work, I work very, very fast. But then again, I also have a pile of stuff that just didn't make it to where, you know, to where I wanted it to get, you know? Mm -hmm. So is there a pile of stuff that's just waiting for you to bless, which you, you know in your heart yeah. is not going to happen? Yeah, I, well, I have probably a piece or two, and I think what ends up happening with those, they just sit there. And uh, those might be the pieces that take a year or two to do, because you'll look over at it every day. And mm -hmm. you're like, ah. yeah. And then one day you might be working on a piece, because I'll work on several at the same time. And yeah. then I'll do something, and then I'll be like, wait a minute, that'll work good on that one. Okay. And then I'll bring that one back to life. That's great. So that's kind of how that works, if I'm understanding the question right. No, that is the question. Yeah. No, really. I mean, because th th I brought pieces back that, that I <laughs> scraped the paint <laughs> off of it because I've had it. I've done that too. <laughs> uh, let's look at this piece. This piece is great. I love the color in this. This is... I think the, 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 these light purples are the ones that jump out to me. It's well, this one was kind of different. Uh, it's, it's definitely a different style from the other ones because there's a lot more rhythmic action going on in there. Yep. And also, sometimes I like to put together colors that shouldn't, maybe not shouldn't, but maybe don't belong don't together. Don't traditionally go to go? Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So using a light violet against an orange, just mm -hmm. to me, not a great color combination. But mm -hmm. I think this one kind of settled into something that I really enjoyed. And I think the rhythm, the rhythm and the rhythmic lines kind of help that out. <laughs> I just looked up and saw our beautiful floating oh, head over there. Great. Uh, these angles here are the ones that get to me, the, these, these diagonal angles. It helps here. it from being static. Yeah, yeah. I think it, moves, it helps move the eyes around a little right. more. Now you're going to be showing at, at Suzanne's gallery as well. Is there any place else people can go to, to dig your work? Uh, at the moment, uh, the James Gate, like I said, I think yep. that one's the uh, 13th of, uh, well, next Monday, and it goes through September. Have you had a reception yet? No, I'm not going to do reception for that one, but please stop by. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you guys want, stop by any time. Uh, it'll be up for six weeks. And then the one that Suzanne brought up on the uh, 17th. Um, what, what's the whole information again there? What is it, Suzanne? It is August 17th. August 17th. 162 Boylston. 162 Boylston. There you go. 
Sixth, sixth floor. Penthouse. Penthouse. We'll call penthouse. it the penthouse. Six to eight. Six to eight. You're at the oh, Liberty, Liberty Hotel, Hotel as well. That's yeah, exciting. That's at the end of the month. That's cool. So that'll be good as well. Do you have a website? Is that August 28th? Tuesday, Tuesday, August 28th. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, do you have a website people can go to? Uh, you can go to valoneart.com. Okay. It's still being redone, but you can get the gist of it. Right, right. None of the new pieces are up, but that should be taken care of hopefully uh, soon. Um, how many pieces do you, are you going to be hanging at Suzanne's? That I'm not sure of. Uh, I think... We're doing 10 at the Liberty, and I have ten. Several, yeah, ten, well, 10 of the large pieces. Yeah. So I've been pretty busy. Where would you situation. usually show for open studios? Would you open, oh, you'd open your space? You know, right. people don't get what open studios no. is all about. I mean, they have all, well, even us in Rosendale, we have the, well, there are people that want to be involved that just don't have the space to do it. But originally, the premise over in here, Jamaica Plain, and over, over in South Boston, was the whole idea was to get people into your home, to into, the, into the, paint, the, the artist's environment. Right. You know, see some half pieces. See some pieces that, you know, he's still working on. Have you working on a piece? Open studio. Well, ah, hence the name, I you know? Agree 100%. Um, do you think you'll miss it? Yes. And no, I think the, the I, I'll miss it, but I'd also do, I've been so busy concentrating on everything that's coming up that there's if I put the show together now for it, yeah, it, it, it would be half. It, it wouldn't yeah. it wouldn't demand all my attention, and, and I couldn't do that. Uh, I wouldn't feel comfortable putting up something that's half done. Suzanne, we'll be with you in just one <laughs> second. <laughs> so. um, well, that's that's exciting, and uh, I, I think the whole idea of you of you start, starting to push and put your stuff by, you know in in Suzanne's. Uh, trunk is going to be a good idea. Yes, no, I, I've been very happy with it so far, and, and a lot of, uh, of good has come of it, yeah, and yeah, new yeah. opportunity. So yeah. it's been great. Well, that's great, Demetrius. Thank you so much for coming in. Um, I'm dying to see some of the pieces on glass. Come on down to the James Gate. Yeah, is, is that where some pieces are hanging? I'll have on glass? eight of the glass pieces there as well. Oh, I think I will. I'll yeah. drop by. It's been very intriguing. Listen, it was great. It's great meeting you. Thank excellent, you very excellent much. Excellent time. Excellent meeting you. Thank you, you so too. much thank for you. coming. Uh, lesson gang, we're going to take one real, one last real quick break, and Suzanne will jump back up here, and we'll find out what she was talking about. And we'll be back <laughs> in just a couple minutes. Do not go away. Thanks. We'll be right back.